Welcome back, everybody, to some more P5R. I'm your host, The Musical Gamer. A bunch of things happened. Akechi discovered our true identities and has uh, given us an ultimatum. Though he does wish to catch the true culprit along with us. Yeah, I don't know if we can trust him, but uh, time will tell. Also, Kasumi is an angel, but you don't need me to tell you that. Welcome back, everybody. We're ready to uh, hey. keep keep going. Uh, all we can do really now is just go to sleep, I'm assuming. Yep. You have to just go to sleep, says the cat. Fine, let's call it a day and go to bed. Not much else we could do, I suppose, anyway. We had a very big day. And I I totally understand the need for mental recuperation after what just happened. That concludes the speech given by Representative Masayoshi Shido, who may be forming a new party. Oh, right, and uh, Boss figured out we're Phantom Thieves too. <laughs> Great. We're, uh, we're insulted by all sides here. <sighs> We now resume our coverage of the Phantom Thieves, the suspects for Mr. Okumura's death and others. The police have designated the Phantom Thieves as the country's most wanted fugitives. Oh, lovely. And have decided to reward anyone with information leading to the capture of the Phantom Thieves. Oh, coffee, Dad, don't do it. You don't need that new iPhone. Look. Those who provide information will be offered a reward of 30 million yen. 30 million yen? Wait, isn't 30 million yen still only like what? Like... Thirty thousand dollars. I mean, I guess that's no ch it's no change to sneer at, but still, it doesn't seem like a big reward. And considering the high amount, it shows how extraordinary the situation has become. I guess thirty thousand is kind of a lot of money. I don't know. I'm thinking about in terms of perspective from Coffee Dad, because he'd be selling out not only me but his own uh, adoptive daughter for thirty thousand dollars. Yeah, I, I don't think that's a fair trade. Reward money will be supplied by the police and the families of the victims. Further, victims. If I report you to the police and they arrest you, I supposedly get 30 million yen for it. What, well, you gonna do it? <laughs> you gonna report us? I hope you understand the situation you're in. Even people who didn't have an interest before will be on the lookout for the Phantom Thieves. And it'll happen every day, even at school. Why did this happen? Look, it's not like I asked for it. I didn't even know it would. I see. Well, how do I put this? I'm sorry I didn't realize it. It's also my responsibility that this happened. I don't think you're a negligent guardian or anything, but yeah, you're kind of kind of stuck with your own thing. You didn't like me at first. I think that's the problem. You didn't want to pay attention to me, but I don't know, that's, this is what they get you. All I can do now is give you shelter. Just don't become desperate and do something reckless, all right? Well, I, I'll try not to, but no promises. Just believe in me, okay? I won't sell you out. As long as you're here, there's nothing to worry about. Well, I at least from that front. what we've done to the chief. I'm responsible too. Yeah, I can't exactly tell him that the cat apologizes. He'll think I'm crazy. Well, crazier than I am. Did you see that reward? <laughs> Perhaps we put too much pressure on them. With this, the Phantom Thieves have become public enemy number one. <laughs> exactly. That will be when their curtain falls. Hey, great! I can't believe how big the bounty is. We should look for the Phantom Thieves ourselves. Kenji suggested they go to the school, right? Yeah, but let's not. There's been too many mental shutdowns as it is. It'll probably be the end of us if we start sniffing around now. What, 30 million yen, man? Just let me dream a little. Yeah, they all want their reward money. I mean, granted, 30,000 bucks? That is... That is no small chunk of change to, to sneeze at for any normal person. When you have a horse in the race, it's definitely not worth it to sell people out. But when you could give two shits about who it is and you just want that money, man, is that a good incentive. Yo, you see the news? I'd brace myself for this possibility. Actually, having a wanted notice out for us feels kind of weird. I'm not sure we're going to get away this time. Our backs are truly against the wall now. Discussing it here won't do us any good, though. Let's talk more in person. Yeah, we need to figure out what to say to Akechi, too. We're gonna need to have some sort of meetings. 
are wanted now, and the reward's 30 million yen? What is this, a comic book? <laughs> it feels so unrealistic, I can't help but laugh. We are finally being treated as actual criminals. <laughs> is this what we wanted, though? I'm positive now. Remember all of those what-ifs I mentioned before? All of this was truly set up. Yeah, clearly. Everything happened too quickly and too easily, right? The wanna notice, the mental shutdowns that weren't our fault, that are now blamed on us. All of it was too convenient. Clearly there's somebody higher up who's pulling the strings here. How President Okumura ranked first, the fad before that, even Medjet. It was all to make the Phantom Thieves famous. On top of that, we were lured to target Okumura. Yeah, the enemy likely planned to lay the blame on us from the start, after we gained popularity. Then what about everything we've done until now? Are the people whose hearts we changed and thought were corrupt actually not? No, because of Yusuke and I, the Matarame and Kaneshiro cases were coincidental. Yeah, it's everything after Kaneshiro that was, was planned. So from Futaba's palace to Okamura to now, all of that was just a trap we fell into. But the first three palaces, that was our own doing. Wasn't that the case with Kamashita too? Yeah, like how would they even know? Considering what happened with the rankings, only the previous target would have been used to lure us. What a cheap trick to use. Cheap? It's nothing of the sort. There's the fake Medjad and the site's altercation. They might have even engineered the fat around us. So much time and effort has been put into this. President Okumura probably wasn't their only target. You know, like our school principal, you mean? Perhaps they intend to place all blame of past and future psychotic breakdowns on our group. Most likely. That's why I said we shouldn't jump into things so carelessly. What, so this is my fault? Even you agreed to it in the end. And there was that thing with Haru at the time. How are we supposed to ignore that, huh? I don't necessarily think we did anything wrong, but because we had no choice but to do it anyway, we still played into their hands. I'm sorry. This was all because I one-sidedly decided that my father was a criminal. Well, he was a criminal. All I could think about was my fiance. If I had only been able to cope with it more calmly, Haru? It's not Haru's fault. I should have spoken up too when Principal Kabayakawa died. Damn it! This is bullshit! God! Fuck! Oh, he almost said it. They almost let Ryuji say fuck. Ryuji! Taking out your frustration on things doesn't help anyone. Hey. What do you think? Who, me? What did we lose? What did we do wrong? Why? I don't think that we really lost. We're just down. But we lost sight of our goal. Honestly, when it came to Okamura especially, what was the reason we were even interested in him in the first place? Granted, we eventually had proper, you know, methods and reasons as to why we should target him, but that only came after the fact. We only were interested in him in the first place because he was ranked number one on the boards. It's probably because we weren't acting like ourselves. Exactly. I mean, granted, it, what ended up happening was all within our usual motto anyway, but still, it was the it was the reasoning that led us there in the first place that was flawed. Agreed. At the time, we only cared about the opinion of the general public. Exactly. Yeah, that really is it. It was... So caught up in making a name for ourselves. I'm such an idiot! I became a phantom thief because I hated those same kinds of adults! To think we had begun clinging onto fame and a place to belong that our eyes had become clouded. We were meant to be the righteous phantom thieves, but we lost sight of our original cause. I'm so irritated with myself. Makoto. Damn it! I know that we've been set up. And that I was a complete idiot, too. But still, it's so damn frustrating. I feel you, man. Of course I want to do something about this. Yeah. We'll be in deep water at this rate. However, we have no idea who we're up against. And whether they're an individual or an organization. Furthermore, they must be in a position of power. 
or her powerful backers if they can go so far. Are we really a match for this? Should we end this now? I mean, what do you mean? Things might get worse for everyone. Do we disband? Hey, what should we do? I don't think we need to... Yeah, let, we haven't lost yet. We're down, but not out. Yeah, running away with our tails between our legs is exactly what they want. We'd be dumping everything we stand for just to save our own asses. I see. We keep fighting the good fight. I take back what I just said. I can't let it end like this. Absolutely not like this. Looks like we're settled on what we want to do. All that's left is how we go about it. Yeah. Ring a ding ding. Did we just meet? Hey, uh, it's me. Yo, what up, dude? Um, about me yelling earlier, being framed, and the added bounty. It all felt like such bullshit. I lost it. I'm sorry. Nah, it's all good, man. I know how you feel. Yeah, you too. Are you seriously? Who wouldn't? It is confusing. We're wanted criminals now. Maybe I haven't changed at all since that time we went up against Kamoshida. I wanted to be a phantom thief because I thought even someone like me could be a hero. It made me so happy to be depended on. Guess it all went straight to my head. I thought I could do anything if it was for justice, but that'd make me no different from our targets. I called them shit bags, but I must be the shittiest of shit bags. I can't even joke about it. Oh man, look, things will turn around. <laughs> You're right. I can start by changing who I am now. Thanks. I feel like I can think straight now. Oh, I scared Haru and Futaba, didn't I? I'll have to apologize to them soon. See ya. Yeah, get you later, man. God, even Ryuji is just kind of. Move his mind a little bit. Oh, what the hell? Ring a ding ding. Oh, everybody. I got a message from Akechi Kun. He wants us to gather at LeBlanc's tomorrow after school. Who does he think he is trying to boss us around like that? Tomorrow? That's sudden. This is directly after the reward announcement. There must be a calculated reason for this, too. We'll be okay, right? Uh, we'll manage. Yeah, we're going to overcome this together. Regardless, I don't want anyone disturbing our pace anymore. Let's go about this calmly. See you all tomorrow. We've reached a crucial moment. There's no point fretting about it now, though. Let's just stay calm and wait for tomorrow. All right, let's do just that then. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Okay. Can we go out? We cannot go out, but can we do other things? Oh. Uh, we can indeed. I don't know if there's anything for us to really do. <laughs> when you think about it, we could play video games again, but uh, I don't really, hey. I don't really know if we we should. We got all these other books though that we could be reading. Hmm. Planetariums, shrines, the sky tree. There's like really nothing for us to do. Oh, dressed in ashes. Actually, let's read this book. Uh, a girl facing unfortunate circumstances learn about leading a charmed life. This is going to be about. Make sure you close up. Uh, this is going to be about uh, Sandrion. Kasumi's persona. Ashes piled upon the bodies like snow. Mm. I feel bad that this girl is being bullied by her own family members. Oh. We still got time to read. Let's go a little further. I'm not fit to attend a ball. Basically, it's a story of Cinderella. Oh. So you finished reading Dressed in Ashes. The story was tough to bear at first, but I'm glad things ended well for the daughter. Even during tough times, she continued to enjoy life. I think that's so attractive. <laughs> sure. All right, cool. We read the book. The book has been read. We don't need the charm, but might as well. We got <laughs> nothing better to do with our time. Maybe we could have trained. I mean, like, practically, that would have been better because that would have been more max HP, right? But I don't really care. An issue in which criminals do whatever they want under the name of justice cannot be left alone. Oh, look who it is. Hello there. Bald, blonde, and beautiful. Only now does the government speak of taking countermeasures. But their actions are too little, too late. The government as it stands has been left behind the times. It is obsolete. We don't have to go down with a sinking ship. We have the power to change this. 
Let us end this chaos through my hands and yours. He's a politician of the ruling party, isn't he? I heard they're splitting up to form a new party, so an election might come before the year's end. I'm gonna vote this time for sure. This man has my support. You haven't voted until now? That's problematic as a member of society, you know. Politics just never interested me before. But this politician seems pretty amazing. He's passionate and thinks of the future. I mean, someone like that should be prime minister. Oh, here we go. I'm definitely voting for him. Well, I suppose that makes sense, since the other politician seems so unreliable. Here's the political activation we're all so scared about. Great. Well, looks like things are moving in the background. And none for the better. When you say that you want us to cooperate with you, what exactly do you intend us to do? That's a good question. But might I have a cup of coffee first? Quit effing around! Please keep this short. There's a bounty for information in addition to the arrest warrant. Those are quite desperate measures. Well, yeah. I'm referring to Sai-san's actions. I assume all of you are at your wit's end as well. She must be considerably vexed if she's gone that far. Make headlines with the arrest warrant, then use incentives to get testimonies. It's not a bad method. The police have nothing on us. There's no way they can make an arrest. True. I'm the only one who's ascertained your true identities. Yeah, and it's not like they have <laughs> evidence they could bring to light. However, the groundwork for fabricating testimonies and concocting a culprit are underway. Oh, God. We don't care about that self-gratification. Get on with it. I'll be blunt. I'm thinking of triggering a change of heart in sai -san. I've already discovered that she has a palace. Wait, what? Really? Hmm. Huh? Really? Is this to prevent the investigation agency's recklessness? Precisely. Still, there's no need to change your heart just for that. Indeed. It's hard to believe that a single person can fabricate all that. Unfortunately, that's not the case. What if I told you that those around her would turn a blind eye to false evidence? You saying the police would do such a thing? It's not that surprising. It seems they're more trusted than I thought. Their priority is settling the situation. They don't care who the supposed culprit is. Exactly. They, they just want to they want to open and shut case. Find a culprit, prosecute the culprit, arrest the culprit, give him a sentence and then just close the books. That's it. They wouldn't care who it is. Just to say that it's done. It's dealt with. Get off our backs. That's really all the police would ever care about, honestly. No. They're not really in the business for uh the police aren't really in the business of bringing justice. The police are just in the business of policing. It's uh, kind of the kind of the job. It's the job of the justice system to met out justice. You're completely rotten. My objective is to find the true culprit. That must be the case for all of you too. However, the current situation is extremely bad. If worse comes to worst, someone unrelated will be set up as the culprit, huh? Our only solution to this is to make Sai-san come to her senses. If she's in her right mind, she can stop this situation. Her sense of justice wouldn't allow it. So that's why... The truth will be covered up. And an innocent civilian's life will be destroyed. I can't allow such a thing to happen. My own ethics won't stand for it. I mean... I guess I can understand how you feel. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a fair point. And changing Sai-san's heart will be to protect her as well. How do you mean? If the true culprit were to learn that she's responsible for the investigation, what would happen? I'm certain they'll aim for her life. She's the perfect target to place blame on the Phantom Thieves. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, they find out that she's the one in charge? Take her out. Who else to blame but the Phantom Thieves? So how about it? Will you agree to my plan? And her little sister will have skin in that game to make sure that doesn't happen. Beyond just, you know, avoiding a false charge. Even though you're particular about being just, you're willing to get your hands dirty? It can't be helped in order to ascertain the truth. There is also one more merit in changing Sai-san's heart. Oh? She'll be a fine warning to others not to meddle with you any further. They can't go public if someone in the investigation has a change of heart. It'd show their corruption. Ooh, that's a fair point. 
All that's left from there is for me to discover the identity of the true culprit. <sighs> what do you mean? You're gonna tell us to announce our disbandment once the real culprit is arrested, aren't you? As expected from Anijima. So, what do you say? I don't think it's a bad deal for either of us. Makoto, what's your take on all this? You're the brains, what do you think? It's a well-made plan. It even takes putting an end to our team into consideration. I'm flattered to hear that. Why are you willing to do all this, Akechi-kun? Why do you seek justice? Because of sickening human beings. Oh? Yes. My contempt for such people drives my sense of justice. It isn't some grand reason like society's sake or some lofty ideal. It's simply an absurd grudge. And extremely personal. Dude. What the hell happened to you? I get the feeling we're gonna find out more through his confidant. Ha <laughs> ha! You know, doesn't he remind you of us? You think? I can't really explain it, but I guess it's how some disgusting adult pissed him off. We're similar, hmm? Maybe that's why I thought that I could ask this of you all. Won't you cooperate with me on the mission to change Sai-san's heart? It's not like we have a choice. Thanks. I was actually rather worried there. This mission can't succeed without your cooperation, after all. The Phantom Thieves will be disbanded, and everything will work out. I pray it does. Mako-chan. I'm okay. I never brought it up until now. But the reason I joined the Phantom Thieves is because I wanted to change my sister's heart. I was hoping I wouldn't have to resort to it, though. I've also known for quite some time that she has a palace. Ah, no wonder you weren't surprised when he said it. Why didn't you tell us? It was too selfish of a reason. Though I was too scared to look any further into it on my own. Why don't we try going there now to scope the place out? A lot of this will be new to me, so I'd like to get myself accustomed to it too. All right, sure. Uh, what, you mean like right this second? I I'm sorry, I actually have plans today. Huh? What plans? See. That's unfortunate. Will you tell your sister about this? Of course not. It's just... You seem awfully evasive today. Is something the matter? I just can't make time today. Let's call it a day then, and resume this tomorrow. I'm sorry, everyone. No, no, no worries. Wasn't Makoto acting a bit weird? Yeah, what the hell's going on there? This is about her sister, I guess. Well, I guess that can't be helped. Regardless, it all starts tomorrow. I hope this goes well. You and me both, cat. You and me both. Meanwhile, in a dark, dingy cell... ...in the near future. We have got to stop meeting like this. Madam Prosecutor. A palace? In me? Not only that, Goro Akechi? Then the Phantom Thieves targeted me as per his advice? That is indeed and the truth. And had already experienced the metaverse by the time of the Okumura case? That can't be. I mean, he never said a word. Why would Although, he? Although, his attitude did change suddenly around that time. Akechi couldn't kept quiet about the most important details, and my own sister may be a Phantom Thief? If this is all true, I was out of the loop the entire time I led the investigation. What a joke. Well, I mean, granted, that was by design, so I wouldn't get too hung up over it. So you became convinced of another's existence through the two mental shutdown cases. And if you were apprehended while falsely accused of those crimes, that villain would still be loose. That's why you targeted me? Not for your own preservation? Yeah, we, we ain't thinks. <laughs> That's not all, though. Hmm? No. If this villain does exist and is setting up your group, I would be targeted next. Did Makoto come up with that speculation? Hmm. I don't remember. <laughs> Perhaps I'm overthinking things. Oof. 
Oh, wibbly wobbly timey wimey. Hey. <laughs> Hello? You need to keep your focus. <laughs> I'm trying. Maybe don't chew me with drugs next time, woman! I can only do so much. It seems you're completely worn out, but the look on your face isn't one of defeat. Why is that? Well, because justice wins in the end, after all. Isn't that I'm what amazed. we all strive for? It seems you can still talk. When you were arrested, a man at the scene told you that you were sold out, correct? Those words normally hint at the existence of a traitor. However, if your story till now is true, one reason can be concluded. It's frustrating to admit, but at a certain point... No, most likely from the start. I was a mere puppet. Someone set up only to bear responsibility later. Someone intended your arrest, and the minimal staff directly involved were in their pocket. And if that's the case, true integrity would side with you. Oh good, you're finally starting to see things my way. Sai's so slowly starting to accept the truth. And our bond is growing deeper because of that sweet! Ah, that's what I like to hear. Rank 6 of the Judgment Arcana. Alright. Boom. I like it. No. I'm jumping to conclusions. I don't believe your story yet. Oh, God damn it. Well, we tried. There's something I need to confirm with you. Was a change of heart triggered in me? What happened in the time between entering my palace and your arrest? Tell me everything. All right, then. Well, we're coming up to the climax here. It's going to be a doozy of a story. Hope you're ready. What's this favor you need? It's late already. We'll be going to Nijima's palace. So I want to look into her. Things like her work ethic and relationships. It doesn't matter whether it's public or private. Those would help us come up with countermeasures in case we hit a roadblock in her palace. All fair points. I can look up more, you know. Stuff like her repertoire of underwear. Wh why would we need this? I mean, let's look at that information later. But why would we need this? A girl shouldn't say things like that. You tell her too. What else can you dig up? Well, like her history with men. Ooh. You're phantom thieves. Wh what? What? Ahem. Also, I may be overthinking it, but my voice. Ow! Same as always. Let me finish first. <sighs> There's something else we want you to look into. Uh oh. Whoa! Oh, the wibbly wobbly timey wimey effects. Wonder why they're happening right there. Hmm. Happy Saturday, everybody. Now for today's train news. First off, the investigation team has announced new progress in the search for the Phantom Thieves. Secondly, the opposition party has submitted a vote of no confidence regarding the current cabinet. That along with legislator Shido's plan for a new party has sparked fears of governmental disbandment. Hmm, things are happening in the political world as well. Everything's topsy-turvy these days. Where are we meeting today? Alright, we were never told where to meet up. At the courthouse. Where's that? Hint, the government office district. Kasumi Kaseki. Indeed. I've never heard of that place. Never been there, though. Oh, I've heard of it, but I've never been there. Me neither. It's not somewhere normal people usually go. Oh, just looking at the map is impressive. Police Department, Ministry of Justice, Public Prosecutor's Office, and Public Security. The Daya Building's right near there, too. For real? What kind of scary place are we going to? We won't get caught, right? According to Akechi Kun, our identities haven't been discovered yet. We're just going to... Brrr, I hit the button. Oops. We're just going to plunge headfirst into enemy territory. Has anyone contacted Akechi? We're going to meet him there. The young guard, everyone. We'll be heading into a lion's den. Alright, well, I'll keep my eyes peeled. So this is the courthouse. You can tell it's a revolting building just by looking at it. Let's hurry up and get started. What? Akechi. What did you find out? Wait, I don't understand. Why is it a re why is it a revolting building? Is it a revolting building because of the palace, or is it a revolting building because it's the courthouse? Because those those two differences are it's like night and day. There is nothing revolting about a courthouse. <laughs> what do you think about it? It's supposed to be the place that upholds justice. 
<laughs> oh god. I rarely get to see Sai-san directly, but I figured out her course of action. On the 20th, an investigation will likely be done at Shujin Academy, as well as the Sakura residence. What? Why are- why the- For real? Oh my god. Really, Futaba? You fucking dragged that out on purpose. Then that means our time limit is November 20th. Yeah, why the cafe, though? Still, there will be quite a bit of red tape involved. I doubt it'll take place before the 20th. We'll take your word. For now, we need to focus on infiltrating her palace. I concur. And we should probably get going soon. After all, people like us standing around here is quite unnatural. Fair. Well then? <gasps> That's... Huh? What about my smartphone? Oh. Whoa! Fujaba! This is the model I wanted! You're so lucky! Oh my god. I'm so sorry. Until recently, Futaba was actually a... Uh, well... It's okay. Sai-san told me the gist. Oh, right. Uh, Akechi-kun, it may be best if you exchange contact info with everyone, too. Not just me. Well, he's already got That's my true. deets. Ooh. <laughs> I'll send everyone's contacts to you later. <laughs> you, you ain't getting that back for a little bit. Thanks. Well then, I hope we get along. I'll do my best. You've got a good personality and good looks? Talk about cheating. She's praising you, I believe. It's a very Futaba then compliment. Shall we get started? All right, let's do it. We need to figure out what Makoto's sis thinks this courthouse is, right? I often hear her call it a place of competition in which she must always win. A competition, huh? That sounds like Sai son. Like a boxing ring or something? It'd be unbearable if you were put on trial for a reason like that. Although, a competition means it's a match of some sort. Might it be a martial arts ring? Conditions have not nope. Met. Then, perhaps a stadium? Or maybe an arena? Conditions have not been there are other competitions besides fighting and sports. Gambling, then! How about a racetrack for horses? Other than that, there's pachinko, but does that count as gambling? Technically, yes, it would. We played cards during the school trip. Okay, now that's a reach. What else is there? It must be a casino. Found. Oh, there we go. Little sis for the win. I see Sai -san in you. <sighs> yeah, it's not really something she wants to hear, dude. <laughs> oh, God. It's time we head in then. All right, then. Forward ho. What we see on the other end? Oh, boy. Head right past there and keep a low profile. <laughs> That's it, huh? What's going on here? We are looking at the courthouse, aren't we? Seems like it. Let's go. Right. Hope you guys brought all your credit cards, because it's time to play a game. The courthouse is a casino. Everywhere else. And the sun is a deadly laser. Escape. Isn't that... The police station, yes. I didn't know that the station and the courthouse were next to each other. Hmm. My tire hasn't changed. That must mean we aren't considered threats or hostiles yet. Right. Areas outside her courthouse palace must not be worthy of her attention. Wait, I always look like this. I'm special. Besides, I can't do anything in my cat form. The police station's <laughs> also part Isn't of Isn't that also a cat area. form? Whenever arrests are made for her cases, I've brought her food and belongings when she was sent on loan to the police. 
we got no business with the cops, right? This might be the metaverse, but I don't want to go in a station. Yeah, I don't blame you. That reminds me. A little me. unnerving. He'll need a code name too. Code name? Phantom thieves can't go around using the real names, right? It ain't cool either. Just for reference, what is everyone else's? Skull. Mine's Fox. We pretty much decided on them with how we look, didn't we? Yeah, for the most part. What is it, Haru? Uh, oh, it's nothing. Then perhaps Karasu will be best for me. You know, like a raven. Are your clothes all black or something? The reverse, actually. If our code names are to hide our identities, wouldn't that be better? Karasu. He'd be the only Japanese sounding one. Why not go with Crow instead? All right. From here on out, you're Crow. Got it. Now then, let's head into the courthouse. All right, forward ho. With Crow in tow. God, I didn't plan that rhyme, but it worked out perfectly. Now then. This is business as usual. First off, we'll need to find an infiltration route. All right, we will indeed do that, but we will do that next time. <laughs> uh, we've made it to the casino, everybody. It's time for us to get groovy with Lynn singing as well. Next time on Let's Play P5R. This is the Musical Gamer signing off. If you enjoyed, be sure to let me know down below. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Check me out on Patreon. Dollar a month goes a long way to keep this channel up and running. And for all of you who are uh, patroned over there, I thank you wholeheartedly for the support. Things have been looking great lately, and I uh, want to keep it going, guys. <laughs> I appreciate it. So that is all for me. I'll see you guys in the next video. Catch you guys then.